All right, so it's somebody, Eric, that's uh, the mayor of New York City, Eric Adams, who is, uh, who's a basketball fan. A and uh, he, as he said, he'd love to see Brooklyn win a championship, but he's thinking about the city. That's Eric Adams, the mayor of New York. That's his perspective. Kevin Durant's perspective is obvious. He had 53 points last night. Mike, he was awesome. That's not a surprise. He's an incredible player. And I think he's feeling the urgency of where the Brooklyn Nets sit right now. They played 68 games. I got their math all in my head. I got their math in my head. I'm telling you, they got 14 games left. And they are trying to, uh, they're trying to get themselves set up. I was going to say they're trying to get out of the play in, but I'm not, I'm not necessarily sure they're concerned about that. They're trying to get ready for the playoffs. And the only way they can win the championship is if Kyrie Irving is available for all of their games. Let's to be honest. Durant's great, but Durant's going to at least need a full-time Kyrie in the playoffs, not, not road game Kyrie in the playoffs. You need Kyrie all the time to win it. So he's calling out the mayor of New York. And I'll just say this. It's very simple. What he just said about Eric Adams, Eric Adams could say about him. So where do we go? He says, hey, he's trying to flex his authority. He's trying to make a point. He's trying to hold on to a position just to, to, to prove something. Well, you can say the same thing about Kyrie Irving. As, as Eric Adams said, when somebody heckled him, yeah, Kyrie can play tomorrow if he gets vaccinated. But he don't want to get vaccinated. And Eric Adams doesn't yeah, want to change the mandate. So, I mean, we, we, we can go back time. and forth. Well, well, but we don't, okay, I don't think true. we need to go back and forth. Like, okay, because to me, the easy rebuttal is, well, Kyrie could just get vaccinated. True, but can we also acknowledge that this mandate makes no sense as currently enforced? Right. I, I don't like, get it so either. I'm with Kevin, I, so I'm with Kevin Durant. For, I don't get it either. So I wish Kevin Durant, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to give advice that I should take. I'm going to give some advice that I don't follow myself. It sometimes just got to stop. And so... I wish Kevin Durant would have just said, I don't get it and left it there that it doesn't make any sense and left it there. I could have done without he wants attention because if you don't get it, then you shouldn't jump to the conclusion that he wants attention by enforcing a mandate that is bigger and more far reaching than the Barclays Center or the mayor of New Madison York Square City Garden as a really case needs attention. Be. New York City needs a lot of attention in New York, I guess. Come on, yeah, come I mean, on, it's man. like it's like it's, it's one of those get over yourself type things like you're a big deal, Kevin, but you're not that big a deal. You know what I mean? The Nets are a big deal. You and Kyrie are a big deal in basket in the basketball world and you know, but in sports, but like not so big where the mayor is laying up at night figuring out how he can capitalize politically off keeping Kyrie off the court. Like if that right. were the case, it doesn't this wouldn't he be a hero if he let Kyrie play? I, I mean, right. if he was really trying to like, you know, use this for political political posturing, but it's still it still it doesn't make sense. Like you can't let unvaccinated unmasked people in and then say you can come and you can come watch the game. But you can't play in the game because the employees have to be vaccinated again. I understand it's far reaching, but they just if you I wish there were more consistency when it comes to the applied science, not applied sciences, but the, the science that's applied to these mandates and to these rules. It is confusing and it's frustrating. Having said all of that, unless Mayor Adams has an overnight change of heart, these are the nets. Now, what's interesting is that it may actually behoove them if, if Kevin Durant can stay healthy, if Ben Simmons can get healthy, it may actually behoove them to have to take the long road through the playoffs. You and I have already established how they are the proverbial team no one wants to see. And that's something that's thrown around a yeah. lot. Whenever somebody's playing well, whenever somebody gets hot, Except, nobody wants to see Except them. It's like it's real. completely overused. This is real. This just got you real. really don't want this to see Kevin real. Durant right. and Kyrie Irving. Yeah, you don't see him. But in the yeah. playoffs, if they don't have home court, then you got to see Kyrie potentially for four games on the road versus three at home. So it's counterintuitive, but it actually probably helps their cause as long as Kyrie is a role player only for them to be a lower seed, which there's no chance of them getting a top four seed. So they're a dangerous bunch. I still question Ben Simmons is fit only because we haven't seen it. Uh, and playoff pressure is a tough place to be integrated into a team. And defensively, except, they're except, still except not, they're not stalwarts on defense, you know? Yeah, except, except uh, Mike, he's better than anybody Whoever he's replacing in a lineup, 
he's he's a better player than that person. Even Rusty, even without playing all year. You oh, just take I thought you were shade. I thought you were shading James Harden. <laughs> when you said that, oh, no, 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 no. I mean, no, I mean, mean the I mean the guys nets. are out there now. I thought you were. I thought now. you were. I thought you were being like, oh, you upgrade over the last guy they had. <laughs> no, no. no. You put, you put, you put Ben Simmons. You put Ben Simmons in that starting lineup, and he's not going to make it worse for you. He's going to make it better for you defensively. He's if we play and pick up, demand the ball defensively. Yeah, defensively, offensively out there, and offensive and offensively, he'll make you better. He's going to make you better. I think it takes more than just. We're not playing pickup. I think it takes. You can't, can I don't think you just roll the ball out there and roll them out there. I don't think you he just roll score. them out there and say, "All right, three all stars." He can't shoot. Have at it, but he can score. He can well, score. Yeah, I right? just. I think they do need some time, and, and absent that, and with Kyrie part time, I'm just not sure. Hey, thanks for watching, brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave, and be sure to watch us three to five p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.